verses uh, chapter 7, verse 53 of John to chapter 8, verse 11 are not found in the earliest manuscripts. 1 John 5, verse 7 and 8 also is referenced. The latter part of Mark, uh, the, the last chapter, verses 9 to 20, are, not, are also not found in the earliest manuscripts. So what's going on here? Have we added these? Are these been brought in much later date? And the answer is absolutely. And see, the beauty of the Bible is that we are honest. We have not corrupted the Bible. Please, for heaven's sakes, get that straight. I hope that's pretty clear now. Over now. We have not corrupted the Bible. We have not corrupted the Bible. Now, Muslims are always claiming that this book has been corrupted. They're always saying we have changed it, we have manipulated it, we have uh, uh, added to it, taken away from it. And I don't know of any Muslim yet in all my 25 years of experience that has been able to show me when and where we have corrupted it. Verses, verses, uh, chapter 7, verse 53 of John to chapter 8, verse 11 are not found in the earliest manuscripts. We have not corrupted the Bible. And then you can answer those two little questions, where and when. I'm still waiting. I know you can. So what's going on here? Have we added these? Are these been brought in much later date? And the answer is absolutely. And see, the beauty of the Bible is that we are honest. And that's the great thing about the New Testament. I know it's authoritative. I know it's not. it has not been corrupted. Thank God that he's given this kind of authority. That we honest, honest, honest. Uh, I'm a Christian. Uh, I have been working with Muslims for over 25 years. Most every Sunday I'm at Speaker's Corner right here in Hyde Park and I get up on my ladder and I talk with Muslims. Ask me right now, what is the line? What is the line that all prophets have to come in? Again, shout me down. See, the only thing he knows how to do is shout me down and not finish my response. I stand corrected. The Muslims are upset that I re reject this guy. I want to ask you. You're not dialoguing. Listen to this. Shout out. Talk with Muslims, honest, honest. Talk with Muslims, honest. I'm sure I'm going to raise an awful lot of questions, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reaction. Great, let's get into it, and let's go public with some of these challenges, and let's go public with some of the. We want to have good intellectual debate. We want to have good back and forth, cut and parry responses. Oh, I didn't come to dialogue. I came to refute you. Jesus! Honest, honest, honest. But we never burn our manuscripts. We keep them there for you to read. We didn't burn our manuscripts at all. There's no reference to anybody burning them. Joseph Henry Smith, otherwise known as J. Smith, is an obscure evangelical preacher that preaches in Speaker's Corner, Hyde Park in London every Sunday. Though he is not a scholar of sorts, having been known to have failed two PhDs in a row, some would say that it is unfair to generalize J. Smith's arguments and actions as being representative of evangelical Christianity. Though he does claim to follow the Bible and act according to its stipulations. The question we're going to have to deal with right at the very beginning, because as, as a Christian, everything I'm going to say has to come from this book, the Holy Bible. Normally, if a Christian is seen to be twisting the truth, it would be rightful to say that he is disobeying his religion. But what if J. Smith isn't disobeying his Bible? What if? He is actually being of an obedient follower to his teachings, but not the teachings of Jesus. Oh no, the teachings of Paul. <laughs> 